Welcome back to Movie Summary. Today we are diving into a film called The Voyeurs. Pippa and Tomas are a new couple who just moved in their new apartment for the first time living together. They start watching neighbors across the streets making love every day and find a way to hear them with a machine. Julia starts to fantasize. They realize the husband Sebastian is cheating on his wife Julia. Julia stops by Pippa job one day and they became friends. But instead of telling her, she sends her a fax saying that your husband is cheating on you. She's shocked. Pippa who is still observing her, sent another fax saying there is a used condom in the trash. But before she goes to check it, Sebastian comes in. And Tomas also finds Pippa spying on them. He is disappointed as he thought they were done stalking that couple. Julia then finds the fax and goes to find the object in the trash. She breaks in tears while Tomas thinks this is wrong. Julia then grabs a knife, they are shocked. Tomas wants to call the cops as Julia almost kills Sebastian. She gives up and breaks in tears. The angry Tomas breaks the binoculars. The next day, Pippa wakes up sleeping in the couch instead of bedroom. She has been slowly obsessed with this couple across the street, especially their making love part. Tomas is mad and disappointed in her. He wants to make sure he can trust her, that he is enough for her. Pippa reassures she is really done, she won't see Julia ever again or spy on them. She then sees Sebastian trying to wake up a Julia full of blood. She is dead. Pippa is under shock as this was caused by them. Tomas can't be here anymore, he wants to move out and go to his sister. He told her they had to stop, he screams at her that this woman is dead because of you. Tomas ends by saying it's over between them. The next day at work, Julia's glasses are ready, because Pippa works at an optical boutique. She gives Julia the call and leaves a voicemail as she is supposed to for her job. But she breaks down in tears telling her she is so sorry. That same night, Julia is depressed in her bathtub all alone. She watches Sebastian drinking in sorrow across, and imagine herself there. She has been fantasizing over him. Sebastian throws a glass, he is destroyed and comes out of the apartment to go to the local bar. Pippa steps out and goes to that same bar. She sits down next to while watching him. He comes to her wondering if he knows her. She is very familiar to him. He orders drinks for both of them. Pippa is still speechless that she is there. Sebastian then asks if she watches dirty videos. He goes rambling about it. And they start talking about toys. Sebastian then called down and gets another drink. He apologizes for his behavior, he says he is going through the most painful separation right now. Both starts bonding and he offers to take a picture of her. Meanwhile we know that's how he was cheating on his wife before by sleeping with his model. Both arrive at his apartment, Pippa is finally there in person. He pours her a glass of wine and starts taking pictures of her. He asks her to remove her shirt. She does then asks her to remove her pants. She does and he snaps a bunch of photos. He asks her to remove everything, she is hesitant so he removes everything first. She does the same and he snaps more pictures. In the middle of it, Sebastian gets mad and wonders what the hell is he doing. But she comes close to him and they end up making love. Meanwhile Tomas is coming back to the apartment with some flowers. He gets in and doesn't find Pippa. He searches for her but then seems to see her making love to Sebastian across. He double check with the binoculars and the poor man is destroyed inside. The next morning, Pippa wakes up in Sebastian's bed. While he is still sleeping she walks out and get to her apartment. When she opens it she finds Tomas flowers on the ground, and see Tomas himself. Police arrives and days later she goes to his funeral. Days go by and she is so depressed. Technically she is responsible for two deaths now. One day, she decides to tell her best friend Ari everything that happened. Ari doesn't believe it's her fault. She tells her she was single she also advises her to seek therapy. Pippa also can't believe she wants to see Sebastian again. Ari finds it weird but tell him to go after him. So they go to Sebastian's photo exhibition. He is so happy to see her. He then takes the stand and makes a speech. He says this project was done with the love of his life Julia. Pippa is so sad and wants to leave. But then Sebastian calls Julia to join him on stage, Pippa is so shocked as she is supposed to be dead. Julia joins him on stage and kisses him. 
She adds that this new exhibition tells a modern fable, a tragic tale of a woman named Pippa. And she points at Pippa, and reveals the photos to be from Pippa, where she is without any clothes. They reveal more pictures, pictures of Tomas and Pippa. Sebastian starts telling the story of this young couple who moved in their new house and started stalking them. Pippa is in disbelief especially they showed the picture of Tomas. They ends by saying, the whole time they thought they were watching us, but we were watching them. The audience is disgusted and Pippa storms out. She walks the streets destroyed inside. Instead of going to her apartment she decides to go into Sebastian and Julia. She knows where the key is, she gets inside and finds an extra room with all the pictures of them and many equipments watching her apartment. She breaks down and destroys everything. She screams, cry and just goes berserk. Days later, she is in her apartment while movers are taking her furnitures out. Some recognizes her from the pictures of Sebastian which are famous. Pippa then gives a look at the couple across, but this time they look back. She looks away. Julia then waves at her. We are then shown Sebastian and Julia saying the form release they signed. It was hidden in their apartment lease. They are interviewed by a reporter who doesn't think what they did is right so they defend themselves. Sebastian seems to be more in his thoughts than Julia who is colder. It seems that they made a lot of money selling these photos but are hated by the industry. Sebastian gets mad at them as he is not taking it well. When they come out, someone is watching them with binoculars. That same night, the couple drink a wine gift they received and Sebastian seems affected by it, but Julia tells him to get over this. He asks her if she feels guilty, she doesn't. A fax then arrives. It says, I know. Another comes saying, Tomas didn't commit Another one arrives saying, you killed him. They look at the apartment but it's empty. They then find Pippa on the roof watching them. Sebastian and Julia chase after her. They run through the city. Pippa goes to her work office. They follow her there. They catch up to her and ask her what does she know. She realized Julia put something in his drink and made it look like he did it himself. Pippa tells them she has nothing left, she just wants to know this last thing. Julia then starts breathing heavy and collapses, while Pippa has a smile on her face. Sebastian is speechless and says that wine was a little gift from her. Sebastian then collapses and Pippa tells him to look closely because it's the last thing he will ever going to see. She then put them on her lab table and does something to their eyes. A week later, a new couple moves into Pippa's old apartment. The couple starts spying on the neighbors across who are still Sebastian and Julia. But we realize they are now blind. The movie ends with Pippa looking at them and leaving the binoculars behind as she leaves. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out other movie summaries we have on our channel.